What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, we are doing another Dream Theater track. The last two tracks so far have got a great response. I've really enjoyed them, so why not keep the ball rolling? As you can see from the title of the video, we're doing another track from the Octavarium album. This is like bang smack in the middle. The track is called Panic Attack. It was a big request on the last reaction that we did, so I figured we'd just jump into it. This is the fifth song of Dream Theater's 2005 album, Octavarium, written by guitarist John Petrucci. Panic Attack refers to defeating one goes through and suffering from one. To punctuate this feeling, the song is played at a fast tempo, likely the fastest song that the band has made up to this point, while also frequently changing time signatures throughout, never letting up until the end. This song gained some fame slash infamy when it was featured in the video game Rock Band 2 as one of the hardest songs in the game on most instruments. The last video I asked, could we get 1000 likes in 24 hours? It just came short, but again, I only put the little pinned comment on that video late, a few hours after the upload, so a lot of people would have maybe just watched it and then didn't see the comment, didn't like, so I'm gonna have it up straight away, ready to go. So if we can hit a thousand likes on this video, that'd be great, guys. Let's keep the ball rolling with Dream Theater. Without any further ado, we're gonna jump in and see what a shorter track from Dream Theater, apparently a much heavier track as well, has to offer. That definitely is a lot faster. It's just hard on a first listen to to get any form of rhythm going because like it said in the the opening description that i read out uh obviously a lot of time signature changes so it is quite like a lot of tools music that i've reviewed where like first listen it's so hard to grab a rhythm and when you can't catch a rhythm from a first listen it can make it hard to like fall in love with a track but i suppose over time then you do start to fall into catching the time signatures and then that's when you can start to really love it but obviously you're only a minute and a half in so i'm not doing it just yet but it sounds good so far Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not someone who has experienced many panic attacks before, to be honest. That's not to say that I haven't. There's been maybe two or three occasions where I have had bad ones, but other than that, I'm not someone who deals with like really bad anxiety or anything like that. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I am. But from the brief encounters I have had with it, man, anyone who has had any form of a panic attack or has like panic disorders or anything like that, will know that that track is quite a good representation of the roller coaster of emotions that you will feel. To me, the biggest comparable elements from a panic attack to the instrumental side of that things was the kind of waves of speed that came. It's quite hard to put into words because I'm trying to describe the feelings that are being created by music that are describing a panic attack, so you know. But again, from my own experience, it does feel like it can kind of come in waves. You kind of think that, okay, I'm starting to relax a bit more now, and then you can, like, if it's something as simple as not getting your breathing correctly and not really sitting down and calming yourself down, it can kind of come on in another wave again and I felt like there was some more mellow parts to that and then there was the heavier, faster, really intense guitar riffs and then the drumming sped up as well which is kind of the, the panicky part of it. So I've always said for any other bands that I've done this channel, I've done a few bands before that are kind of concept tracks where they display emotions or tell stories through the way in which their instrumentals are aligned and I think that really says a lot about a band that can make you feel something like positive or negative with the way in which they arrange a track. Another banger from Dream Theater, to be honest, I think I'll have to listen to it a few more times myself because the odd time signatures make it hard to get into a rhythm with it from the first listen, but I'm sure after a few of those heavier guitar riffs will really sink in with me because I am a sucker for them, as a lot of you guys will know. But yeah, guys, that is going to be me for the video. Like I said, if you can hit 1,000 likes on this video in 24 hours, that would be sick, so make it happen. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not already been much appreciated. And yeah, I'm signing out guys, take care of yourselves. Make sure to drop any comments that you have down below, any suggestions for the next video in the comment section. And yeah, I'm signing out, take care, cheers.